So this one's from Sean Chaos, I think, or is it Sanchos? I think it's Sean Chaos. Hey. Ever started a game project that you were passionate about but had to abandon or give up on for whatever reason? <sighs> You've really opened up some old wounds with that question. Some deep, deep, painful wounds. Absolutely, yes. I'll tell you a quick story about it. So after having worked in studio game dev environments for a few years, I decided to take a year off to focus on some indie projects. So in that time, I decided to build a top-down fantasy brutal brawler. It was one of my like dream ideas at the time. I think I was uh, calling it Sellsword or something like that. So I spent about three months working on this game. Very efficient, high productivity hours almost every day of the week. I was so proud of the system I had built and the project was about 80% complete. And mind you, this was in a time before Unity when things were a lot more complicated to build and took a lot longer. You know, things like collision, you had to code up your own collision matrices and um, uh, physics. There was no rigid body physics. You had to code your own acceleration and your own velocity and things like that. So long story short, I got a great opportunity to work at a local game development studio in my city. And it was too good to pass up. So I started work there and um, I kept telling myself I'd go back to this game and just next week or next month you know, but the, the job turned out to be a lot more demanding than I had expected. Um, fulfilling, but demanding. And with time, weeks turned to months, which turned to years. And this game project was basically in my review. And in that period of time, the game industry had also moved on. The standard of what was acceptable as an indie game and, you know, um, the quality standard, the bar had risen a lot, which you see often. If you look back to old Flash games versus the indie games now, it's a very um, different quality standard that we see today. So I realized that for me to make this successful, I would have to work on it a lot more still. And the other thing is, I had also evolved as a developer and a game designer a lot in that time. And what was acceptable for me back then was no longer really acceptable to me. Um, I wasn't so confident in, in the product like I was back then. And a lot of you might relate to that, I suppose. If you look back on your own kind of art history work, you're like, eh. So I then realized that finishing this project just for the sake of it would be um, a waste of time. I was tempted just to finish it, just to say, hey, I finished it. It's going to suck, but I finished it. But that's... As tempting as it is, that time would be better spent for me invested into a new project that I was 100% passionate about and invested in. So there was a time period where I had lamented this old project and I wondered what would have happened if I had, you know, not taken that job and um, finished that game and released it, you know, would it have been successful or not? It's hard to say and there's no way I'll ever know. but. Uh, taking that job led me to where I am today. I've been um, actively working in industry for some time now, and I really cannot complain with where I've got to now. So it is what it is, but um, that's the project that got away. 